Hello, everybody. Welcome back. And we've only got Virginia and Miami left in the regular season. Number 11, ODU, takes on Virginia, who are looking to become bowl eligible with a sixth win today. In Virginia's home stadium, these two teams have met the last two seasons, but that was as non-conference opponents. Virginia took the first meeting in year three in a gritty, albeit messy, battle 10-3. Last year, ODU got some revenge in overtime to beat the Cavaliers. Who will take this contest in a divisional battle in the ACC, kicking off to Antoine Hopkins' Old Dominion in the all-white uniforms today, hoping to get off to a good start. Old Dominion ranked 11th, played a pretty solid schedule, and the ACC is currently the top-ranked conference, considered the toughest conference in the country right now, and one of the reasons why ODU has gotten so much respect in the rankings. And Dixon, look at this play on the option pitch, makes a man miss. 42 yards on his first carry of the game. What a start. Dixon now on a little counter play. Look at this. He's got moves to make a miss. 15 yards and just like that, Dixon off to an excellent start. And now on third and 10, McCarley out of the shotgun. Going to throw for Lawrence Reese and that one didn't have much of a chance. Stopped by Virginia's defense. Tommy Patrick nails a field goal, so it's 3-0 early in this game. But it's going to be Max Vowles. Tight end. For Virginia, getting that one in first down. Now it's third and four. Going to run a little screen play here. Corwin Cutler to Terrence Cronin. It's a loss of three. Stopped by the senior linebacker, Chris Cleveland. Great start for the defense. Old Dominion back at it on offense. Hand off to Dixon to the left side. He gets about 12 there. He is tearing it up early. Virginia doesn't have much of an answer so far. Second and five. Sullivan comes in now to give Dixon a little breather. And he gets eight yards himself. Number nine, not too bad of a running back at all. Good backup for Dixon. Ellison, look at this over the middle. Nice play action. Defense was looking run. Got frozen there. Silva comes in now. A little option play for him, and he's going to get a decent gain for a first down. Things looking very nice for the ODU offense. Second and ten, handoff to Dixon, and Virginia just has no answer. Double-digit gains, it seems like, every time for Dixon. But it is third and goal. Pistol formation. McCarley going to look maybe to pass here. Going to change it up now. Little read option upcoming. Hand off to Dixon. And he goes right into the end zone. Runs into his own man. But that is Dixon's 15th rushing touchdown on the year. Another great season. Last year he had 19 touchdowns. In his freshman redshirt freshman season, he had 15. So each of these last three seasons that he's been here it's been 15 plus touchdowns but look at this it's Bobby Jordan a solid back in his own right Jordan and Cronin the two running backs that get a lot of the action for Virginia are gonna be tough cookies to watch today that's right I called them cookies Virginia's drive stalls there start of the second quarter now McCarley's gonna find Todd Jackson Defender was a, a little out of position there. He could have made a play. Instead, now we jump ahead second and ten. Under center, a little, little toss play to Dixon out to the left side. That's where they've been having some great success running. The middle and the left side for ODU have been huge and already over 100 yards on the day. Hand off. No, wait, it's a fake. McCarley going with the play action. It's intercepted. Freshman Victor Wade. Out of Pennsylvania, he's a freshman, comes in and makes that pick. Number 44 there, great read, poor decision to throw by McCarley. Virginia third and four on the ensuing possession. Look at this, it's Justin Jackson, going to run right over Justin Weddle. He just ignored that tackle completely. The Monarch defense holds, and it's going to be a 49-yard field goal. Off the upright, and it's no good. Virginia still scoreless here midway through the second quarter. And this is how close this was. It was going 
hooking in, but it needed about a couple yards more before it would actually go through. Still 10-0. McCarthy going to look, and it's intercepted by Smith. And just like that, Virginia is going to get the ball right back in great field position. Another chance to get on the board now for the Cavaliers. Some gifts from ODU and Bobby Jordan breaking some tackles. Down at the 12-yard line. He is having a great game. Both running backs, Dixon and Jordan, having a great start to this game. Cutler's going to take off, and he takes a shot from the Alabama native and senior linebacker Roshan Doherty. One of the experienced members of this defense, third and eight now. Just over two minutes to go in the first half. What a pass. Nice touch. And that ball was beautifully thrown for his receiver, Ahmad Garrett. And the coverage wasn't quite there. They were a little confused. 10-7. Half a minute to go. Now Dixon and the ODU offense... Have some work to do if they want to get a score in before the half. But around midfield here, Todd Jackson, look at this play, getting into Virginia territory and setting up at least field goal range. ODU with one timeout, 11 seconds to go now. McCauley going to look to throw, and he's going to get sacked. That's not what you want in there. Timeout and seven seconds to go. Maybe take a shot at the end zone here, if not go for a field goal. McCauley's going to look. He's got Ellison. Great Great play, 20 yards. The corner route, perfectly executed. And a beautifully thrown pass by number 13 here. Look at that. He didn't waste any time. If he waits any longer, the coverage will be all over that play. But the perfectly timed pass with three seconds to go in the half gives Old Dominion a 17-7 lead at halftime. But two turnovers certainly causing a bit of problem for the Old Dominion offense. Still a thing to work on. But as McCarley's a senior, he's not going to be able to really work on that past this season. So definitely just going to have to be something to work on in the future. As we jump ahead now, midway through the third quarter, so far both teams struggling to get anything going in the second half, but Terrence Cronin there busts off a 13-yard gain. Second and nine now approaching field goal range. I'm going to cross into field goal range. Terrence Cronin throwing arms out there. Stiff arms, breaking tackles. The backup running back doing a good job on his own. Bobby Jordan just rides that tackle for an extra three, four yards after he got hit by Marcus Massey there. Jordan going to bring it in about the two-yard line. Opportunity for Virginia to punch this in for six. Third and goal now. Jumbo formation, going to hand it off. Cronin stopped, and it's Kavon Walker. Another senior member of this defense making a big play. Virginia settles for the field goal, and now it's a one-touchdown game at the start of the fourth quarter. Scott Sullivan keeping his feet, fumbles the ball, and it's picked up by Adrian Bush. Oh, Sullivan was saved there. That would have been a huge problem if that had been a turnover. Still, though, ODU. Maintains lead, maintains possession. McCarley rolling out, and he had some separation. Ellison had separation on his man, but McCarley didn't quite have his feet set properly throwing on the run, and that caused that throw to be off target. Dixon on the screen pass, and he's going to be short. A yard short at midfield. Punting situation for Tommy Patrick. A strong wind going from left to right here. Patrick's punt now going to drop inside the 10. Going to roll out of bounds at the one-yard line. What a punt. What a great punt. Pinning the Cavs in their own territory deep. And in, in this dynasty, we have never seen the ODU defense pick up a safety. Third and seven now. It's his man, Justin Jackson, one of his favorite targets. Gets breathing room for the offense. They get out of that situation deep in their own territory. But Rob Thompson lays Bobby Jordan out. Third and one. Now Cutler going to throw. Finds Knox. Another tight end getting in on the action. 20 yards. They keep this going. Three minutes to go in this fourth quarter. Third and one. Cronin handoff to the right side. Look at this. Throwing the stiff arm. 14 yards. Stiff arm didn't quite work, but it didn't need to. 
He got the yardage he needed. Second and seven. Cutler looking to throw. Chris Cleveland intercepted. Cleveland down the sideline. If he can beat the quarterback, he has a chance. He's going to be brought down there. Cleveland not the fastest guy, but a huge interception by the linebacker with two minutes to go. Will that seal the deal? The offense now needs to burn clock and make Virginia use their timeouts. Virginia has used all their timeouts at this point. A minute and a half. ODU trying to burn clock. Hand off to Brian Cook, the fullback. We don't see too much of him. And he gets eight yards. Under a minute now. Second down. McCarley out of the pistol. Hands off to Dixon. Dixon's got room. He's going to go all the way. Diving. Cheesy dive into the end zone this will put it away ladies and gentlemen 24 10 Old Dominion secures the victory it wasn't the easiest of wins but Dixon 173 yards and two touchdowns also had a reception for nine yards great day for him and he is currently third in the Heisman watch so he puts in a, a great performance against Miami. There is a, a small chance he could actually walk away with the Heisman in his junior season here. But uh, he might have to really put in something special because a couple players ahead of him are looking very good to win that trophy. ODU picks up their fourth ACC win after starting 0-3 in conference play. The Monarchs 8-3 now. 4-3 and three in the ACC. No chance of winning a division title. No chance of playing in the conference championship game. But the next game, the final game of the regular season, could have a big impact on which bowl game Old Dominion goes to. A win against Miami could see them get slotted into a very good, prestigious bowl game. A loss might knock them back a few notches on the bowl chart. It's going to be a big game. It's on the road. Miami's a tough team, and Miami currently ranked 20th in the country, so it's going to be a top 20 matchup as we get a look at the team stats. Pretty equal stats uh, for the most part across the board. You know, both teams, similar yardage, same amount of first downs, all that. So here's the top 25 as we move into the final few weeks of the season here. TCU, the final undefeated team. Nobody else is undefeated. San Diego State lost. They were the other team that was undefeated until they lost. And ODU, we have moved up to number 8 in the country. The highest Old Dominion has ever been ranked. Finally into the top 10. And this isn't even the best season that ODU's ever had. So that's, that's saying something. Next up, guys. Number 8 Old Dominion at number 20 Miami. Regular season finale. I will see you guys all then.